Hi, I'm John Ruther, owner of North Star Motorsports in Chicago. At North Star, we are the original racing resource where we've been selling performance racing and safety equipment for auto racing for over 22 years. And I've been racing a lot longer than that. So we know a thing or two about racing and what works and what doesn't work. Today, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about a brake fluid that's made by the Japanese company Endless. It's called RF650. Um, you may or may not know, but at Northstar, we brought in the Endless line of brake pads and their brake fluid uh, earlier this year. And it has been such a screaming success. Everybody that tries this brake fluid absolutely loves it. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Number one, this brake fluid um, is one of the highest boiling point rated brake fluids on the market. Um, may not necessarily be the highest in all categories, but if you look at them in total, it is one of the highest rated. The uh, dry boiling point is 622 degrees. The wet boiling point is 424 degrees. So it's exceptionally high. Um, and the thing that, uh, that most people never talk about in terms of brake fluid, and there's really no way to measure it that I'm aware of, and that is the compressibility of brake fluid. The, the thing that makes your pedal in the car feel like it's going soft can occur from two things. One, it could occur if you get moisture in the brake fluid and the moisture boils and then you've got water and steam in the fluid line, in which case what happens is the pedal gets soft and it goes down further than you would like. The other thing that can cause it is the brake fluid itself under heat tends to compress more than it does if it's under ambient temperature at say 70 degrees. And so there's no way really to test that, but I will tell you that endless brake fluid has a much higher compressibility factor than most other racing brake fluids that I'm aware of. And so for that reason alone, given the fact that it has very high boiling points, both dry and wet, uh, the compressibility is a really big deal for me. I want that brake pedal to feel rock hard all the time when I'm in that car. It gives me more confidence when I get to a brake zone and I stand on that pedal, I know exactly that I've got brakes and I'm not going to have an issue getting the car stopped for that corner. And that's, that's what uh, Endless happens to do for me. Um, the other thing I really enjoy and I like a lot about this brake fluid, it comes in a half liter bottle and it's a metal can that is, that is permanently sealed on top. So this unopened will last forever. And the thing I like about half liter containers is when you're going to do a brake bleed, you're not going to use a full liter. Why pay for it and have it go bad? Uh, the other thing I always do is take a Sharpie pen and write the date I open the can on it in a Sharpie because it'll write on any surface and that way when you go pull it off your shelf in your shop and you go oh that was two months ago well I'm not going to use that anymore so it's time to open a new can. Um, some brake fluids only come in one liter of containers and for my money I think that's a waste of a lot of money you're, you're just you're just throwing good money away when you do that because you, unless you're going to flush the complete system which would probably take a full liter uh, to do um, other than that, if you're just going to bleed the brakes, a half liter is way better economically for you. Um, so that's the story on endless brake fluid. The other thing I want to talk about is this brake fluid is the brake fluid that's used by the Mercedes Formula One Grand Prix team. They've been using this in Lewis Hamilton and, and Valtteri Bottas' cars uh, for the last couple of years and even before that it was their go-to brake fluid uh, at Team Mercedes. So it has a top flight Formula One team that believes in this brake fluid and they use it a lot. The other interesting thing is Porsche has always historically used a different brake fluid in their factory race cars. I'm talking about RSRs and, and Porsche Cup cars. Uh, recently they made a switch. They made a switch to Endless. Now on any new uh, Porsche factory built race car, on the, on the brake master cylinder it says use only endless RF650. Uh, 
Porsche happens to know a thing or two about brake systems, and theirs and their race cars are very, very good. So uh, that is a pretty good endorsement from, from my perspective. So that's the, uh, the story on endless RF650 brake fluid. I highly recommend it. It's a very good alternative to any other brake fluid on the market that I'm aware of. Um, so I think if, you, uh, if you're looking for, for a, a, a different brake fluid to give a, a try to, try endless. I think you'll, uh, you'll like it a lot. Um, at the end, click on our uh, logo over here and you'll be able to subscribe to North Star Motorsports YouTube channel and be able to see all of our videos. We have over 40 product videos on there and we're putting more up all the time. So that way you'll be able to, to if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be able to see exactly uh, what we're doing and what we're talking about uh, the latest products that we've got. Also, uh, click in the link in the description down below, and it'll take you to, uh, to the product detail page on this product, on the Endless Brake Fluid, right on our website. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching.